Hey guys, it's Starlight. Thanks for joining me for my next video for Neo Pagan November, started by Brittany, the Sunshine State Witch. And I'm still trying to catch up. <laughs> I'm slowly getting there. So, the prompt for this video is I once thought, and I once thought a lot of things. So, it was really hard for me to narrow it down to just one. Um, there were so many things that I wanted to talk about, but I think I finally figured out what I wanted to say. So, I once thought that I would never find, meet, connect with, or make friends with other witches and pagans. Um, like, I have my nerdy cosplay and convention friends, and I love them, but... <sighs> I didn't have any witchy friends, and for the longest time, I was okay with that, but deep down, I wanted to connect with similar or like-minded people that were on a spiritual path, um, and that's actually why I created my YouTube channel, because I wanted to reach out and put myself out there and see what happens. Like, I wasn't have any, having any expectations. I was just going to roll with it. And, you know, if I'm meant to find people and people are meant to find me, then it's going to happen. Um, but I also wanted to share, like, my experiences, thoughts, and feelings on different, like, witchy and pagan topics, um, and just kind of have a digital record of my practice and my life, um, and it's kind of like my legacy that I'm passing on. Oh my god, I don't know why I'm getting emotional. Um, <laughs> okay, <laughs> so, um, now that I'm teary-eyed, <laughs> um, yeah, I never, I never had witchy friends before YouTube. I hope I don't have to redo this video. <laughs> um, and it's because of YouTube that I met so many amazing people. It's just been a wonderful experience getting to know people through their content and through social media in general. Um... Oh, Link, I remember talking a little bit here and there to Drew from She Who Walks Between the Worlds, having, like, little interactions with Beanbag Hagwag, Trish, um, and, it's been an awesome experience corresponding back and forth between comments, um, and starting conversations through them, um, and getting to know people that way, whether they're from my videos or someone else's videos. Um, it's just, it's really been awesome. Um, oh my god. <laughs> so, and like, even if I don't like know these p people on a deeper level, I just feel like it's been an honor to like connect with him, connect with them <laughs> in some way, shape or form. Um, yeah, so a while ago, like, I don't know, a year or two ago, I don't remember exactly when it was, um, the fiction lady, um, Emerald reached out to me and wanted to do a collab. Um, and I think that was my first collab. And it was about pagans and witches with disabilities. Um, so we created the pagans and witches... Oh god, what was it called? I'm trying to remember what the tag video was. Disability Path Challenge, I think it was. Um... And it was specifically for other pagans and witches and spiritual folks with disabilities to share their thoughts on a few, like, prompts and questions that we made. And, um, 
it's been awesome to get to know her through that and get to know other people through that um, because I know the disability community isn't talked about much um, and a light definitely needs to shine on on that topic um, anyway um, so I got to know her and oh it's not from crying okay I don't know if I'm gonna like edit this or if there's gonna be outtakes I do not know <laughs> we'll see anyways last year around like late July to September ish I remember seeing one of Noah Tempestari's videos, um, and he was talking about his Discord server, the garrison for, um, Pagans and Witches, and I thought that was awesome, that was an awesome idea, so I joined, and through that server, oh, don't cry again, I got to know so many <clears throat> amazing people, um, I got to meet Miss Alondra online, um, Draven Michael, um, and that is where I also met my bestie, Midnight. It turns out that we live really close together, um, and we actually got to hang out in real life and do shit together, in person together, like, that has been so awesome to like have a witchy friend that you can like physically do stuff with like we did so much stuff this year like we went swimming a lot we made fire and burned shit we like made candles and wax melts together we're sharing information and knowledge with each other and like doing witchy stuff i never would have thought that i would have had a friend to do witchy stuff with like for realsies here in this witchy room like oh it's it's just been such an honor to get to know all these people and like I can proudly say that I have a best friend and that I have witchy friends and that I'm connecting with other people like I never would have thought this years ago you know I never would have thought that I wanted to do spell work with someone because I thought spell work was very personal like that's a thing for me to do alone and that's how it is, you know what I mean? Because I do things my way, you know? And it's been really awesome to, like, do spell work with someone else because, like, I'll do my thing and she'll do her thing or we'll do the same thing together. That sounds wrong. <laughs> so this is just my own personal perspective, but I feel like the way of the solitary witch is a really lonely path or it can be anyway and that's why so many of us seek some sort of connection whether that's like physical events or online spaces like discord other online resources social media like facebook youtube whatever else um i just feel like a lot of us want that connection in one way or another um and some of us have no choice but to be solitary. I feel like it's really situational per individual, but that's just my feelings about it. Um, feel free to share yours because I would love to know. I wanted to mention, if it wasn't for YouTube, I wouldn't have met any other witches and pagans or made any witchy and pagan friends. And I'm really grateful for YouTube because it had a huge impact on my life. So... I'm glad that I went to YouTube. I'm glad that's where I turned to. Um, and also, if it wasn't for YouTube, I wouldn't have my live show, The Open Circle. The whole purpose of The Open Circle is 
for other people to meet and connect with other people who are like-minded in some way or you know maybe friendships can form out of the open circle like I would love for people to connect with other people because connection is something that means a lot to me I also have the open circle discord which is where people can meet and connect with you know other like-minded people but before it was an extension of the show um it was the pagans and witches with disabilities discord because i wanted to connect witches and pagans with disabilities that are in some kind of similar situation and um now it's more inclusive and i really hope that people can meet and connect with people on there too um I don't know. I just feel like connection within this community is vital. I once thought that witchcraft was a really lonely path, and I don't feel that way anymore. Thank you guys for hanging out with me and watching this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.